Hello! Today's Tuesday, and last week I mentioned that I might have something that I'm going to be doing on Tuesdays. So, introducing Pen Turning Tuesdays. So you know what day it is? It's Tuesday. And Tuesday means pen turning. Now I had this idea for a little while because I like posting videos of pens. I make pens frequently, so it's something that I do. Now these might not be posted every Tuesday. I don't want to commit to having to upload a video every Tuesday as well as Friday. It may turn into that eventually, but for now, I don't want to be committed to anything, so these might be up every week. But if I want to miss a day and I don't have a pen kit or something like that ready to turn, I don't want to have to be in a rush to order pens, pen stuff and try to edit a video really quick and upload it. I want this to be sort of a comfortable thing for me. So let's get right into this. to put on a CA finish now. I have a little strip of paper towel. Just gonna fold it in half a couple times. And I've wrapped two of my fingers in tape to keep them protected from the CA glue. I'm actually gonna try something different this time. Um, at least on this pen blank. I'm gonna 
put the CA on this way like I usually do, mainly to fill up some of these voids and inclusions a little better. But this one where it's nice and smooth, and later on on this one, once it's, the inclusions are nice and filled, I'm going to put it on the paper towel and wipe it on like that. I also learned a few other things from a few pen turners that you should always start spreading your CA in the middle so it doesn't get gummed up on the bushings too bad. So I'm just going to go ahead and try out some of these techniques. I'm also going to turn my speed down pretty slow so it doesn't spatter. Okay, I have most of these voids and inclusions filled now, so I'm gonna come at it with sandpaper from 400, 600, 800, just to sort of give me a nice, smooth, fresh surface to put on my final coats. I think I'm going to go with two more coats of CA and then we can get up to polishing it. And I'm also going to do that thing I was just talking about earlier where you put it on the paper towel first and then wipe it. I'm also going to try wiping from the middle to see how well that works. Now I'm just going to go ahead and wait for this to cure up even more because it's still a little soft and I don't feel too comfortable sanding it like that. And if you can see when the light runs over it, it's not a clean line, it's kind of bumpy and rippling. So that means that this surface is very bumpy. I can actually feel it with my fingers. So I'm going to have to flush sand this down, make it nice and even before I get to polishing it. Okay, now all my flat spots are out, so that's good. Now I have a nice even surface, it's very smooth. I'm gonna sand through all my micro mesh pads now. This is gonna do is leave a smaller and smaller sand scratch with each grit. It goes through 1500 all the way up to 12,000, and I don't know how many grits there are in between. I think it's something like 10 or 12 of these. And each one is gonna leave a smaller and smaller sand scratch. And the last one, the scratch will be so small that it'll be very shiny, it'll be very glossy, and it'll feel great. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna keep my speed at around 1200. That's a pretty smooth surface. It's very shiny too. Now the surface I have right now is really good. It's very smooth, it's glossy, and I can take this off and assemble it right now. But I'm not gonna go one step further. I'm gonna use a mirror glaze buffing compound. And I usually just wipe it on like this, just to make sure all the surfaces get covered. Okay, now I'm gonna turn on my speed. My speed will be starting at about 800, and I'm gonna crank the speed dial by hand until it hits uh, 1500, which is where it maxes out on the pulley I have it set to. And I'm gonna increase the speed to give me a cleaner cut as this gets finer. So here we go. just see what kind of a shine you'll get on your surface after buffing compound. Super slick. I'm gonna start assembling the pen. Just gonna put all the parts together here with my pen press. 
first step with the slimline pen kit is to press in the writing tip which goes in on the end of the pen put it in there and drive it in next step is to press the twist mechanism into the line so just go ahead and press it in and very important at least for me not to break momentum while I'm pressing this in because once I break momentum it gets kind of tricky to press it in the rest of the way without pressing in too far because oftentimes when I try to start again it'll press it in pretty far and I, it's kind of difficult to stop so I'll just press it in there all the way till that line looks good now I put the ink refill in there just threads in so I'll make sure it comes out all the way and goes all the way back in which it does next up is to press in the uh, clip with the top of the pen and I always put a small I mean small dab CA on here and you kinda gotta work quick once it's on and I do this because the pen clip will sometimes come loose over time so this will really hold everything in place for a small drop in so we're just line this up wherever try not to get CA all over your freshly buffed up pen apply pressure and press it in last step is to put the center band over just like that and then the whole thing just slides together and that's it